Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to be sharing episode number four of our basement makeover series. We have gone through the main living area, my youngest son Noah's room who is four, our other young son who is six years old, we went through his room, and today we are in Luke's room and he is 10 years old, well almost 10 years old, so he's going to have a little bit more of like a grown space and I'm super excited to be sharing this makeover with you guys. We have a ton to get done today, we are actually going to be painting one of his walls to kind of do an accent wall, similar to what we did in the main living area, and then we also have a few little furniture pieces to build and mostly a lot of just decorating and really making this space super functional. I also wanted to mention make sure you stay tuned because although we have done a lot in this basement we still have more to go. We still have to finish up our bathroom. It's still studs right now so we have a lot to do in there. We are also going to be remaking over that little space in the main living area that has like the workout equipment. We are going to be putting some bunk beds in there and then we also have like just a lot of extra little things kind of laying around that we need to still get done. So there's probably going to be more episodes in the series just so we'll probably take like a few week break while we kind of gather things and get things ready. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of those videos and let's go ahead and get on into it. Alright, so once again, the last thing that we did in this room was all the baseboards, just putting them up and painting them and everything. And so we have a lot of things just spread out all over the floor. We have furniture in different places. He doesn't really have like a good place to put all of his laundry clothes. So he has been sleeping with his brothers, which is not really unusual anyway but we have a lot to get done. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is going ahead and just cleaning up the space just so we can kind of figure out exactly where we wanna put everything and make sure the space is going to be really functional for him. That's a real life moment now I don't have. This is the start to a teenager, like an empty granola wrapper and an unopened, thank goodness, string cheese. And I don't remember the last time we got string cheese, so it's been a while. All right, it's beginning to look like an actual room again. <laughs> Luke's is actually probably the one that is most set up because he does have his desk and his bed frame 
and these are probably going to stay in the same place but we are just going to transform this space into a space that is something that will really help him one do online school this year and then just be a place that he can really come in and enjoy and look at who showed up this is little miss micah they love hanging out in the windowsills but anyway now that we have everything emptied out of this room we are going to start vacuuming, wiping everything down, and then I also, of course, have to tackle Luke's windowsill. I'm not going to be having to do his actual window, like where you guys have seen Kyle, like scrape all the stuff off because we had done that earlier. So we've already done that, I think like a couple months ago, actually. So his window is good. And again, you guys will see this, but we will have to actually go through later on and paint the window well because it's like all rusty and not in good shape. I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders Some close stuff, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change all right, just like in the other two boys' rooms, I am going to be using the Bissell Steam Shot to clean our windowsills. I think Luke's room is one of the better ones. It's definitely not near as bad as Liam's was. Either way, they're not great, and I definitely need to get them all cleaned out. So I'm just going to plug this in, get some water in, and start cleaning out these yucky, yucky windowsills. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. Remember the colors, they were wrong It was way more than a dream We climbed up, get yeah, over the hillside So right, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I floated on air in my mind There's no going back, no going back So I wanted to take a second and let you guys know about the giveaway that I had mentioned earlier on in the video. The prize of this giveaway is my very favorite vacuum, the one that you guys just saw me using. It is my Shark Apex Uplight. I adore this vacuum and I'm so excited to be giving one back to you guys. So all you have to do to enter is of course be subscribed to my channel because this is a subscriber giveaway and then go ahead and leave a comment on all four of the basement makeover videos. I will have all of them linked down below as well as all the details to this giveaway. So make sure that you get entered to win. I am so thankful to be able to give back to you guys. I just always love finding small ways to let you guys know how much you mean to me and just how grateful I am for this incredible YouTube family. And one other thing that I did want to mention is a little bit later on in the video, I will be sharing a super quick and easy DIY. And this is going to be something that's extremely customizable. It can work in anybody's home and it's also going to be extremely affordable. So definitely stay tuned for that. I cannot wait to share how that one turns out. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high.
So now that the windowsill is all nice and clean, we are going to start painting. We're just gonna start taping everything off and we're actually gonna do the same color that we did in our main room in the basement down here where it's like that really, really dark navy. Luke was looking at it and he just told us that he loved it. So I thought it would look really good in this little like wall area because it's kind of set back in there. You can kind of see that. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make that the accent wall. And then once we are all done painting, we'll let that dry and start working on the rest of the furniture and decorating. So of course before we start painting we have to tape everything off. I feel like this is the part that definitely takes the longest but it does really pay off if you do a good job taping. I think when we were painting Noah's bed in episode number two we kind of found that the blue painters tape was starting to let the paint bleed a little bit and I got a few comments from you guys saying to try out the green frog tape. Now we have never actually tried it before but I'm curious how many of you guys have tried the frog tape and if you think that it's worth the price because Kyle said he's seen it at the store but it's quite a bit more expensive than just the blue painters tape and so I'm just kind of curious if it's worth the money. So here the tool that Kyle is using to paint the corners and the edges is something from Home Depot. I never can remember exactly what it's called but I will do my best to link it down below for you guys but it just works amazing and really helps save a lot of time and instead of having to paint the edges with a paintbrush you can just run that little tool along the edge and it works so so well. all painted I swear I feel like it looks black sometimes it is not black and once it all dries it doesn't end up looking black at all it does look just very like a dark dark navy I thought there's a spider but it is not so thank goodness for that but I feel like this already has added so much to this room it just really broke up all of the light neutral tones but I just feel like this has added so much to the room and I'm super excited to see it dry and just see everything like come together. But now Kyle and I are totally wondering if we should have done an accent wall in Liam's room, maybe even the same color. So you guys will have to let me know if you guys think that his room would be good with an accent wall. It's the wall that has like that big huge beanbag poof with the books. I'm just thinking that might end up looking really nice right there, just kind of break everything up. But let me know what you guys think if you think an accent wall would look good in there. Now that I'm just seeing what a big difference it's made in this bedroom, I'm just, I don't know, I'm kind of wondering if we should go back in and redo that a little bit.
Oh. oh. I thought I was gonna get it. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> Did you break it? Just the dowels are not working good. Could you drill this dowel out for me? You want me to drill it out? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. That's quite fine. If I had like just tooled two dowels in there, I mean, <laughs> just one on one side and two on the other, it's quite fine, right? Yeah, it's probably okay. Turn torque off. I thought you turned it off before, so it didn't torque me. <laughs> I thought you did. Stay with me if you want to. There's a whole bunch right there. Oh, I thought you were already putting that. <laughs> wow. Guys, because I thought you already did that. That'll work, yeah. Oh, my lantern, look at this. Oh, wow, good job. You bolted the sides to it. You're great at picking it and placing it. Building it? I actually would tell people that I am good at that. <laughs> would you? Yeah. Mm. I'd say I'm good at building furniture. I probably wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say that I'm good at building furniture? No, I, mean, I would tell people that. Yeah, well. I guess you like to lie to people. Okay. Hi, I'm Amanda, and I think I'm good at building furniture, and I'm not. Okay, but you know what? I built a lot of bookshelves and a lot of cubes. Still myself. can't build them. But actually, I do wonder now if you would have built the TV stand down here if it would have fit together a little better. Because I was like, you were like pushing against the stairs to get it to line up. Chances are, <laughs> and that's I believe, not how it was supposed to be put together. Well, I know, but I blamed the furniture. Oh, yeah, you did.
Okay, so we are all done building the furniture. I feel like that took way longer for being some pretty, pretty simple pieces. We have this cube organizer built. And then also in here, I wanted to make this a little bit more functional for Luke as he gets older. And so we got these drawers that you can add in. And we got these from Ikea, but I think you can probably order these online from other stores as well. And we'll put bins in the bottom. But here is now my dilemma. So this nightstand was actually supposed to go in Liam's room, but it didn't end up going good because it went like right in front of the window. And so he just doesn't have a nightstand. So that's what I got that one for. And this one I got for Luke because I feel like it matches perfectly. It's actually not a set, but I feel like it just goes really well. And I love the aesthetic of this, but this one just seems so short. This one's only like two inches taller, but I feel like it just makes a bit of a difference. I don't know. So I'm kind of going back and forth. I only have one of these and I do have two of these. So I think I could maybe make this work if I put some tall, something tall on it, but I'm just not sure. So I'm just having to figure this out. All right, you guys, right on track with everything. We are having hiccups. The furniture took way too long. The nightstand is not quite what I was envisioning it being. And now the blanket that I had ordered does not fit the bed. Like it barely covers the sheet. And then on one side, it doesn't even like go down to cover the sheet at all. It's actually way thinner than I was thinking. So. Although I do love the look of it, I just feel like this is maybe not the one I might have to return this one. Oh, I just so wish that makeovers could go according to plan every time. It would make life so much easier, especially with how much like planning and preparation goes into them. It would just be really nice if like so many different steps along the way just went really smooth. I would love it, but it'll end up turning out in the end. It's just adds a little bit more steps to the process. Since it is starting to get a little bit later, I'm gonna have to run out really quick and see if I can find some things to kind of remedy the situations that we have going on right now to kind of pull the room together. And then either we will work on this a little bit later tonight or tomorrow, just depending on timing and everything. Just kidding, it's the next day. We got back too late and then just had no motivation to keep going. And it was bad lighting at that point. So. It is the next day and we are going to finish this today for sure. So I was able to get a different comforter and I'm just going to have to send this one back because it just does not fit the bed properly. And I think I did make a decision on the nightstands as well. So I Marco Poloed my sister um, last night just to kind of like get her opinion. And she did not like this one as much either. And she didn't think that this was too short because like I was saying, I could probably put like a lamp or something on that to kind of give it some height. So I'm going to end up building the other one or have Kyle build the other one. And then we will have two nightstands, one on either side of this one. So let's go ahead and start building it. You ready to build some more stuff? Yeah. Oh, should I show them the outside in there? Do you dare? <laughs> I don't know. I don't... Should I reveal the mess that is outside of it's this room? It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's terrible. All right, you ready? Da da. Yikes. We literally have stuff everywhere. We still have to put that bunk bed up to get rid of. We have like some of this is from like Luke's room that we pulled out. This is a lot of the things that I've gathered over a while. I actually have to take that sign back because that was back when Liam wanted to do a railroad room or like a train room. Yikes. So if you're ever doing a makeover and you're thinking, how in the world does she keep everything so nice and clean while she's doing the makeover? 100% no. It is absolutely a complete mess outside of this room. Just blown away down right. My mind's indifferent to know what's wrong or right. Her bite is bittersweet because I'm stuck between her lines. She silenced me with words that shouldn't be combined. Down. Just 
So here Kyle is just making sure that making the bed is as big of a pain as it could possibly be. I feel like he does this every time that he helps me make the bed. And on one hand, he is just driving me nuts. And on the other hand, I am laughing. So I guess it's all good. But I'm really happy that you guys have been able to see this funny side of Kyle. He cracks me up constantly all day long. And since he's been in a lot of the makeover videos, I'm just really thankful that you guys are able to see that side of him and kind of get to enjoy that part of him as well. And then also, I'm sure you guys have seen him on our vlog channel as well. He's definitely just such a character. So. It's been just a lot of fun for him to kind of step out of his comfort zone and be a little bit more comfortable on camera. I have just loved sharing that with you guys. Oh, I've done it. It's not this way. I would just not have pillow covers. <laughs> Are you seriously trying? Yes, I'm trying every time. Oh, I'm trying to hold on. Oh, oh, gotta keep on keeping on. Cause I'm waking up. Kyle, you don't chop this. What? Kyle, you don't chop this kind of pillow. I don't know, you chop all our pillows. <laughs> you don't chop this kind. <laughs> Okay, so this is how this face is looking with the nightstands. See, I feel like it does end up working good even though they're lower because I created some height over here with this taller lamp. And then over here, we're actually going to do some of the Ikea spice rack shelves, but we're gonna do them for his books, just like we did for Liam's, except I think I'm gonna do a contrasting color instead of the white. I'm actually going to do black, and that will create a little illusion of some height over there. So I feel like all in all, it'll end up looking really nice. Then we also have something to put above his bed as well. So as you can see, the bedding is super, super wrinkled. And so one quick tip that I've learned actually from one of my sisters is if you throw this into a dryer just like this, but with like maybe two or three ice cubes, the ice will just kind of melt slowly and help like de-wrinkle everything. But instead of doing that, because we already have it on here, I'm gonna see if I can use my portable steamer and steam it. But if not, then I'll end up doing that little trick. This obviously is not going to end up working in this situation. So because I have to actually like tip it over to steam this, it's just pouring all the water out the top. So I think we're going to end up having to put this into the dryer and just let it steam and kind of like de-wrinkle in the dryer. So it's kind of a bummer that we have to do that, but it was a good shot. I know I messed up. Yeah, I know I did you wrong But I learned my lesson Now what if we could move on? So in the past several episodes of this makeover series, I have gotten a lot of comments about if we are going to be doing other window coverings in the rest of the basement. So I did want to do a quick mention just to let you guys know that we will be adding blinds to all the windows and then we might end up going back and adding some different window coverings later on, but we definitely will be covering all the windows one way or the other. We got the curtains put up. As soon as Kyle saw them and I asked what he thought of them, he said Denver Broncos because orange and blue. Now the sheets you're not going to see. This wall is navy, but I feel like it's a dark enough that it won't maybe scream Denver Broncos because that's totally just not what Luke's going for in this room. I felt like this was kind of like a rusty like car kind of color. 
kind of like an orange rust car color. I don't know. That's kind of what I thought in my mind. And he went online with me and picked them out too. So he really likes the orange and kind of like a different, a little pop of color in here. But we do have the blanket. It's just about dry. So we're going to go ahead and put that on and kind of cover up this like brighter navy blue and see if how that works like with the orange curtains and everything. we're going to be tackling is Luke's desk space. Both of our boys are going to be doing online school this year and so we want to make sure that their desk is like very functional for online school. I will be doing little things later on. If you guys want to see a video on like how we're actually going to be completely doing school this year, like setting everything up for that, kind of like a homeschool stations maybe, let me know and I can definitely try to do a video on that. And then over here, I actually got a really cool thing that's part of like what I'm gonna do the DIY on. It's like a Bugatti Chiron collage wall, which is Luke's favorite car ever. I am super sad because I ordered something literally a month ago and it's just been waiting in the mail. Like it has not arrived yet still, but it's a really cool car sticker. I'll actually put a picture on the screen, but it's like a, like a wall sticker right here that is going to be an add-on to Luke's room later on, but it just has not arrived. They're already looking so much better now that I just like steamed them just so there's not a ton of um, like wrinkles all over them. And I don't know, I feel like they're kind of growing on me, the color. So you guys will have to let me know, do you guys like the orange curtains or do you think I should do something more neutral like a white or like a, I don't know. Just let me know your thoughts on the curtains because ultimately we'll just do what Luke likes if he likes them or if he's not a fan but I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on it because I feel like sometimes I make these bold choices and sometimes it really works out and then other times I'm like uh, it's a little bit too far that we are hanging things we will use command strips or monkey hooks any chance we get just because they either don't damage your wall at all or like the monkey hooks just leave a tiny little hole and really help you avoid having to use anchors so anytime that we can avoid damaging the walls we will definitely take it and those two items definitely make that really easy Here I'm just setting up Luke's new bins. One of them is to store whatever he wants in, and then the other one is going to be for his pajamas. I'm outside and I'm about to spray paint some stuff, of course. This is just the Rust-Oleum Two Times Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. This is like always what I get. I just pick it up at Walmart. And this one is in, I think it's just black. Yeah, it's flat black. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you what I'm painting. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be painting. These are just the little Ikea spice racks. I picked these up, I think they're like $4 each. They're really, really inexpensive and take two seconds to put together. They come in this unfinished wood, but I'm going to obviously paint them black. And I also have these letters I had gotten from Hobby Lobby. One little trick is this L looks great now. You can see on the back, it actually was an E because they didn't have an L. So if they don't have the right letter, a lot of times you can get away with like kind of changing things up. Obviously this is like a pretty easy alteration, but like now you'll never know.
So now we are going to go ahead and do the DIY project that I've been talking about. I am so excited and I feel like it's gonna turn out even better than I had planned. This was like so last minute that I found this, but I just love this idea. So I'm turning you guys around to show you. Okay, so this is just a frame that I had picked up at Target, but it has um, a few different like sizes and like kind of like its own little collage. Let me tell you, it is incredibly hard to find the exact car that Luke is obsessed with in like decor items and like pretty much impossible. And so I thought, well, I'll have to make my own. And I went ahead online just to Google and I just Googled the car. So this is a Bugatti Chiron, like I've mentioned before in different versions. I went ahead and just sized these out and then got them printed. So they're like 20 or 30 cents a piece. And I'm going to end up putting these in this picture frame. So the original color of all of these like varied, some were blue, some were red, some were whatever. I just made all of them black and white and I just edited them right on my phone, so super, super simple. But this is something that you can do with any style decor thing that you're going with, especially when it's something that either you don't wanna spend a ton of money on, like I said in the last one, like of course, nobody wants to spend in a lot of extra money that they don't need to, but also if it, you're having a hard time finding like the specific thing that your kids are wanting or that you're wanting, go ahead and just do something like this, especially when you just make things black and white, it will go in any space and it really kind of like upscales the look of it and you can do it on an extremely low budget. So let's go ahead and do this one. I just finished it and I feel like it looks even better than I had imagined. It looks like something that you would have bought at the store. This looks so high-end, especially doing something so small as just making all the pictures black and white. It looks like everything just was meant to be there. This would be so good to put in like really anybody's bedroom or any living space. Just find something that you really love online, some different pictures, turn them to black and white, and then put them in a little photo collage that you can, or like a collage frame and you have a custom piece for way, way less than you would get if you pre-purchased something in the store. So this is how it turned out, and honestly, I feel like it looks even better than this. This is kind of looking like it has like a blue tone to it, and it does not. It's like truly black and white. I just love this. I feel like it looks so high-end and super cool because it's all personalized to this exact car that Luke loves. All right, next to be hung are these little bookshelves that we had painted outside. I am still going with toothpaste to be the best plan of attack, but Kyle picked up this, this hanging mechanism and he swears this is gonna be easier and better. So oh, it is. we shall see. way off no it's pretty close <laughs> isn't toothpaste pretty close toothpaste is for brushing our teeth <laughs> in case you're wondering what toothpaste is for oh my gosh all right so i don't know i may be still a fan of toothpaste i think that might still work really well but if you have someone in your household who does not like the toothpaste trick there's another option that works pretty well as well both work pretty well. It just depends what way you want to get there. I guess you want to just 
smear toothpaste on your walls and hope that it's good. You could do that. That's not what you do. You could. I mean, just like throw a toothpaste on your wall. Toothpaste. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> throw just, a toothpaste. Just delete this whole thing. <laughs> Cut. Wait a second. I don't need you. And why so settled? I miss with you. Still, it feels just like I'm waiting for something better. Wait a second. I wanna stay up late with my heart in your head. Maybe stay too much, cause you don't understand. You got me gone. You don't understand. You got me gone. But sometimes I might be a bit selfish. When you wait too humble, might be overzealous. So one super last minute touch that I want to add is our boys have a ton of like Nerf guns and a lot of them or a few of them at least three are like these super huge ones. They don't fit in any of like our bins, any typical toy bin and so they're either like shoved somewhere randomly like into a toy bin where they do not fit where they end up breaking it or they're just laid across the house where they don't go. So. I have a little solution that I found or that I kind of thought about and I think it'll end up working really, really well. This is actually a laundry hamper. So you can find these at like Target, Marshalls, I think is where I picked this one up. I'm going to use this because it's so tall to hold the Nerf guns, like the really tall ones. And I think that will work really well just so they have a space. I know that there's more than just these two, but at least we'll have a few of them and when I find the rest of them, they can go in there and it looks like it's going to fit them perfectly. So I hope that you guys have really enjoyed this video and also this whole makeover series we have been doing in the basement. Like I've said before, we will be adding to this series, so make sure to be on the lookout for that. I'll be mentioning it in future videos, but I hope you guys have the most amazing day. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already so you don't miss out on future videos, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Luke, come on down. Come see your new room. I'm really excited to see this. Open your eyes. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh my gosh. Just yeah, look around. Oh no, I didn't. Look at them. What are they? They're all Bugatti Chirons, my dream car. Your dream car. Yeah, I love how it's like little parts. I love that. Oh, and then you've got the Bugatti that I built right here and then the one that I got for Christmas up there, my trophies up there. What do you think of the curtains? I actually really like it. Kind of adds a fun little pop. Wait, is there one on the side? Oh, there's yeah. one on the side. Oh, yeah, with my alarm clock and then...
This one. Yep, your new alarm clock and the diffuser. Wait, do these? Oh, that's sick. <laughs> and then Luke, we still have that big, that big piece that we'll put right here. The one oh, that... Oh, that's gonna, yeah, the one that like goes into the wall. Yeah, it's like that big that's sticker. That's gonna be really cool. What's something different about the wall? What? It's blue now. Oh, see? How do I close these? Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just... Oh, over your favorite things. Mm-hmm. But... You know what car that is? A Corvette. It's not a Corvette. A blue body. <laughs> I really love this, you guys.